Praise be unto you. We bless the name of the living God for his steadfast love and his tender mercies. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another bright day. We thank you for your grace and your favor upon our lives. May your name be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Bring the Lord our theme for reflection today from the Amanak. If the needs of the Levite were also catered for, the needs of the Levites were also catered for. Now, passage is chosen from Joshua 21 1 to 8. Joshua 21 1 to 8. The Levites were the descendants of Aaron the priest. They also included the workers of the temple and tabernacle. God told them that when they get to the promised land, they won't be given any share of the land because God is their portion. Hallelujah. Praying the Lord in the new dispensation, we are all praised according to the epistles of 1 Peter. We must also learn to live with the mindset that God is enough for us. That is why the first Timothy says and joins us to be content with God and not be in a perpetual state of fighting and grumbling for worldly goods and things. You know, first Peter says he says godliness with contentment is a great gain. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye for the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and all other things shall be added. Hallelujah. So it's our standard. What you have is what God thinks you need at a particular point in time and not what will give you more when it seems you fit for more. The Lord himself will provide. His name is Jehovah Jireh. They came to claim the abortion as a result of a promise that was made to them. People of God, when we stand in the presence of witnesses and make promises to people who are usually weak, we must do our best to fulfill them even when we forget and our minds are brought to remembrance. A promise is a promise and God does not break his promise. So we must learn to do see. Hallelujah. The Levites were allocated cities within the location of the tribes. This was deliberately done so that every tribe will have priests and men of God within their reach and also their presence and sight will remind them and remind them of who they are. Sometimes we forget who we are. Yes. And sometimes lose our focus because there are no examples and symbols of godliness around us. Children of God, God is supposed to be in us. And we have no justification for getting that by the physical presence that creates the consciousness of God is very important. People of God, God is with us. His name, Jehovah Shammah, is with us. We are not alone. You are my portion. And you are my portion. Because you are my portion. You are my portion. You are my portion. You are my portion. So Jesus is ultimate. Jesus is now. Mama yen so ni muye. Ye nyina ya ya levi fu ya be ya asomaya safuku o man kron kron o be fa Yesu wa. Praise be to the Lord so tell priesthood of all believers. Yes, ye nyina ya ya asofu o ye nyame ma. Et ye nyin tu mu se ye wo ye wo enhira. O wo Yesu wa o wa de nyina. O nya wiase nyina, nya wiase adan sika nyina na woni Yesu wa. Godliness 
with contentment is a great king. May God bless us with his word. And let's also remember also to take care of our leaders, our ministers. And the good Lord will also bless us and honor us. Shall we pray? Father, I will thank you today. We bless your name that you have made provisions for us. We thank you, physical provisions and spiritual provisions, Lord. That even if you die, we have a place to go. Because we said in John 14, 1, that in your father's mansions, in your father's house, there are many mansions. Father, we thank you. Bless your children. Honor them. Favor them. Any power, any principality that will impede their progress, we render the enemy powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you and keep you. May his strength be your portion. May he honor you. May he favor you. Whatever you do, may it prosper in the hands of the Lord. May his blessings and his favor go with you now and forevermore. God bless you and keep you. Peace and life to you all. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi Ampofo, Minister of President Church of Ghana. Bye-bye.